So on September 15th, 2021, I uploaded a video called The Disturbing Ruth 911 Call. It was a part of Mystery Month and it was a pretty short video. Not because I wanted to make a short video, but because there wasn't much to it besides a creepy audio recording of a woman being attacked. Well, it wasn't long after I uploaded that video that the mystery was solved. In fact, it was solved by a listener of the Going West podcast, and that person made a Reddit post soon afterwards. And this is the perfect example of how one little detail in a story could make things difficult to investigate claims of authenticity. That's right, the story from the last video that I made on this turns out to be false. So we're going to look at the actual story of that call. First, let's go over what the story was. The story was that a woman called 911 to report a strange person on her property ended up being attacked and murdered. This audio recording was used as a training exercise for 911 operators on what not to do. Here's the call to refresh your memory. Oh, well, there's some guy been uh, checking the place out. Well, well. He went in the back, I have an apartment in the back, and he said he was looking for a guy, and he comes to my door, and, yeah. and uh, said he's uh, looking for an apartment. So I'm real, I live alone, and I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. I'm where, of, where is he now, ma'am? I don't have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, that's still disturbing. Anyways, I stated that I was on the fence on if it was real or not. Well, I got my answer. I have to play this clip again because it is important to what I found. There's a reason I need to play this before I go into the update. A clever user was able to use a people lookup website to find a record of a woman named Ruth Price who died in 1994. The house number on her most recent address was 3877. This is the exact residence number that the Mrs. Price in the 911 call gave the operator before being cut off. Uh, this is the Ruth Price of 3877. What's the problem, ma'am? Because that Redditor who found that information of a Ruth Price that died in 1994, turns out that he was on the money. This is the Ruth Price from the audio. She survived that call. Ruth Mildred Starr was born on December 7, 1913 in Pueblo, Colorado. She married a man named William Price. She had two children with him. William passed away in 1972. On November 3rd, 1980 in San Diego, Ruth noticed a young person acting strange. So she called the police. Uh, this is the Ruth Price of 3877. What's the problem, ma'am? Turns out 911 wasn't a thing in San Diego until 1982. So it explains why the operator was kind of a dick as well. So what happened that night goes as follows. As she was on the phone with the operator, the assailant came up from behind her. Oh, well, there's some guy been uh, checking the place out. Oh. Well, he went in the back. I have an apartment in the back, and he said he was looking for a guy. And he comes to my door. And... Yes. And, uh... He grabbed her by the neck and began to strangle her. <laughs> She dropped the phone and was able to break free of the man who fled, which her dropping the phone was what the end of the audio stud was. It turns out that that was the sound of the phone being dropped. So why did people not find this out until now? Well to be fair, needle in a haystack. We were all told as part of the story that she was murdered that night. Not that she was a badass and broke free. Not to mention this was found on Newbank, which is an archive that is mostly used at libraries and other educational places. Which means that archive is a lot more massive than, say, newspapers.com. From the looks of it, the story was changed to teach a lesson on what not to do as a 911 operator. When really, Ruth survived, lived until 1994 when she passed away. I could not find any actual pictures of her though. Barely Sociable was the first I seen to do a video on this update and well I believe he is right that this has been solved so to recap our timeline it appears that after the 1980s this call spread across cassette tape to other parts of Southern California 
where after some two decades later, C, who was also based in Southern California, had uploaded this call to the internet. And thereafter, the internet had spread like wildfire. But it is worth mentioning that the earliest mention of this call on an internet forum is also from an EMT out of Southern California as well. But thankfully, the ending of this internet mystery is that she did in fact survive. I was made aware by a comment left on my video on it that it has been solved. So there we go. But I do have to say, this isn't one of the mysteries that keeps me up at night. If I had to pick one, I would still go with Rainbow Kel because that is the one I'm left with little updates on, and that bothers me. But hopefully one day I can update you all on that too. But till then, I hope you enjoyed this very short video. Next week is going to be a longer video because I'm going to be discussing the murder of Dominique Dunn.